Hi everyone and welcome to this R for Beginners tutorial on how to get started using GitHub. GitHub is a platform primarily used for version control and collaboration. While there are several ways you can get started on the R for Beginners lessons, I recommend using this method if you already have R and R Studio installed on your computer. Now, it's okay if you've never used GitHub before, you don't even need to have a GitHub account to get started on the R for Beginners lessons. So the first thing we'll do is navigate to the R for Beginners homepage. So here we are at r4beginners.com. And all we need to do is go ahead and click on the GitHub link. This will take us directly to a GitHub repository, and we can see this is one of my repositories, and it's called R for Beginners Lessons. Now, inside this repository, we have all of the project files and resources to the R for Beginners Lessons. So we can see lesson one, two, three, four, five, at least right now. So from here, just go ahead and find this green code button, click on it, and click Download Zip. And then this will open up. And we just want to make sure to save this folder somewhere safe on your computer. So I'm going to go ahead and put it directly on my desktop. And then we can close out of this. And now we have our R for Beginners Lessons main folder. We can just go ahead and open it up. And you can see here we have all of our files. And now we want to, once we want to go ahead and get started, we can open it up and find the R for Beginners Lessons. And this is actually called an R project. So go ahead and find this blue R cube and double click and this will open up the entire project. So you can see by opening it up this way, it will automatically open up R Studio and it will open straight into the right location, so our R for Beginners lessons, and automatically have all of our files in our working director directory so we can go ahead and get started straight away. Okay, so just as an example, let's open up our first lesson. So we'll open up the first RMD file, and here we can see it's our basic syntax, and we have all of the code that is ready to go. So if we scroll down, we can print and run the first R chunk. We can even go ahead and knit the file. If you want to see what the full lesson looks like in a knitted file. And again, here we go. We can see this. So you can see that the whole lesson works just with a few clicks and downloading it straight from GitHub. All right, so you are all set to go ahead and get started on the R for Beginners lessons. One question you may have at this point is, what happens if you come back in a couple of months and you see new lessons on the website that you wanna try out? Now, you can go through the exact same process. So go to the R for Beginners homepage, follow the link to GitHub and download all the files. And that way you will have all of the latest, most up-to-date lessons. Now there is a slightly more advanced method where you can copy the URL path straight from GitHub and create a new R project linked directly to your GitHub account. So for example, back in GitHub, we can go here and just copy the URL and then create a new R project inside our R Studio. However, this method requires you to have a GitHub account and some knowledge of how GitHub and R projects work. So since this tutorial is for beginners, I won't go into the details of this method, but I wanted to point it out just because it's one more great feature of R having this capability to connect directly with GitHub. And the last thing I'll point out is I also have all of the instructions for how to get started using GitHub on the GitHub repository page. So that is everything for this tutorial. I hope you found it useful and I hope you enjoy going through and getting started on the R for Beginners lessons. Thank you so much for watching.